Good morning, scholars. My name is Professor Ariane Slaughter, and I will be your professor for the next eight weeks. Um, welcome to LDR 1100 Life and Leadership course. Um, I'm just going to get straight into it. There are just a couple things, a couple reminders that I need to go over with you guys. Um, the first book you will need is Habitudes, and this is what the Habitudes text looks like. So that's Habitudes. And the second book that you will need, um, the title is A Dream Called Home. This is the common reader for the course. So when you see um, week five, when it says discussion common reader, this is the book. Um, as soon as you get the book, start reading it immediately because in week five, that discussion post, it pertains to your thoughts about this book, whether it resonates with you or not. Um, another reminder is there's a strengths finder um, text that you need, and basically you'll receive that code. You'll receive an email with the code for this um, towards the end of week one. If you opted out of the program, like the Tornado textbook program, you will need to get a new copy of the strengths finder. Um, and it would be a single use code um, in the back of the book. So guys, if you are not enrolled in the Tornado textbook program, you need to get these books immediately for the course. Now, week one of the course, let's go and I'm just gonna look. There's the Habitudes Discussion One. And with the Habitudes Discussion One, you'll have a Habitudes Discussion every week. For week one, you have to look at the image. It's called the iceberg. And when you look at this image, you're going to read the text, and then you're going to basically give a description of what this means to you. Um, like the prompt for it, it says, we learned that the iceberg represents our leadership. What strengths of your leadership, which is the 10%, that's the part of the iceberg that's showing, are worthy of being seen. And then it says, what specific weaknesses in your character, that, which is the 90% of um, the iceberg at the bottom that no one sees, that's your character. Um, what specific weaknesses in your character could sink you? And then you want to go ahead and post to the discussion post. Now these discussion posts are due Wednesday by 11.59 p.m. On Sunday, you need to respond to two, not one, but two classmates' posts by 11.59 p.m. to get your full discussion points. If you do not do that, you do not get the full points. Um, for week one, you also have a personal journal. For example, it says complete a journal entry with the prompts provided. You will complete six journal entries that should help you with your final paper on your growth throughout the term. So the first prompt, sorry, I'm in my classroom. Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. Uh, there is a car in the lot with its lights well. on. Black Toyota Corolla, license plate 576-UYT. It's parked on 36th Street um, by the new handicapped parking spaces. Okay, thank you. Bye. All right, the joys. So I'm in my classroom. I apologize for that. Um, the prompt for your personal journal entry one is what your thoughts on Christian leadership what are your thoughts on Christian leadership? What does it mean to you? What should it mean? So that is your prompt. Um, and that's just your journal entry. And the last thing for week one, discussion thread, self-introduction, just introduce yourselves. So um, if you guys have any questions, make sure you email me. I am very prompt about emails. I just ask that um, you do not email me after midnight. Um, but other than that, I am here to help you, support you. If anything comes up, if you have any concerns, email me immediately. If something comes up where it interferes with your assignments being submitted on time, please email me. Um, this is, I feel like this is a year of grace and courtesy and um, we should just all really support each other. So I'm here. Um, 
you have any questions, email me. I am looking forward to the next eight weeks. I'm excited to get to know you all and see what excellent scholars you are. Um, keep your head up, stay strong, stay healthy, um, and peace and love and blessings to you all. All right, bye. Have a good day. Ooh.